solving multiplication and division equations. Okay, we've in the past we've looked at solving equations when there's just addition and subtraction involved. But what happens when there's multiplication involved? How do we solve for that? Well, in order to to show how to solve uh, multiplication and division equations, we need to know a couple properties that we're going to use. Okay, one property, actually they're very similar. The first property is the division property of equality. Division property property of equality. What does that mean? Well, what that means is if you have an equation and you have a number on one side, let's say A, and you have another number on the other side, well, let's say it's A times X, and we say A times X equals B. Well, what the division property of equality says is if you divide one side of the equation by a number, let's say we divide it by A, and you divide the same by the same number on the other side, you're going to retain that equality. What that means is each side is going to stay equal as long as you divide both sides by the same value, the same number. If we want to look at this with actual numbers, let's say we have 8 equals 8. Okay, 8 does equal 8. Now, with the division property of equality, that should say that if you divide one side by a number, let's say 2, it's going to equal the other side also divided by 2. Okay, 8 divided by 2 is 4. And same thing with the other side, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So 4 still equals 4. So one side of the equation still equals the other side of the equation. Okay, let's let's see one that's a little more a little more complex. Um, let's say we have 5 plus 10 equals 15. Okay, well, the division property of equality says that if we divide both sides by 5, it should stay equal. And it does. When we divide this side, the left side, by 5, well, 5 plus 10 is 15, and then 15 divided by 5 will be 3. That should equal 15 divided by 5, which is 3. Okay? Now the other property, so that's the first property, is the division property of equality. And then you have the multiplication property of equality. Multiplication property of equality. of equality. And that's very similar. What, what that's saying is if you multiply one side of the equation by a number and you multiply the other side by the same number, it's going to stay equal. So let's say we have an equation. Let's say we have the equation x over a equals b. If we were to multiply both sides of the equation by a, that should stay equal. They should stay equal. And on this side, the left side, the a's would cancel out and you'd be left with x equals ab or ba. You can write it either way. But since we multiplied both sides by the same value, they stay equal. Now, if you look at uh, an example with numbers, you could see 2 equals 2. And then if we multiply one side by 5, and you multiply the other side by 5, that's going to stay equal. 5 times 2 is 10. And that should stay equal to 2 times 5, which is also 10. Okay? Now... When we have equations and we want to solve, we can use these properties. Sometimes we'll use just one of them. Sometimes we'll use both. Let's see, let's see an example here. 
if we have if we have 6a equals 54 okay what we can do and we want to solve for a solve for a okay what we can do is divide both sides by 6 okay the 6a divided by 6 well the 6 is cancel out and you're just left with a and then 54 divided by 6 well let's work this one out you may know this already whoops 54 divided by 6 okay 6 doesn't go into 5 6 does go into 54 well how many times 9 times 9 times 6 is 54 okay so 54 divided by 6 will give you 9 so a equals 9 okay so let's see one more example let's say you have well let's see one with multiplication that's a division one now multiplication property of equality if you have c over 2 equals 13 and I want to solve for C solve for C well we can multiply both sides of the equation by 2 and when we do that C over 2 divided by or multiplied by 2 well the 2's cancel out and you're left with C equals 13 times 2 which is 26 and I want to back up just for a second so that, that you, if you don't understand why the 2's cancel out, maybe this will make a little more sense. When we multiply 2 times c over 2, right, 2 times c over 2, that's the same thing as saying that we have 2 of these, 2 c over 2's. So we have 1 c over 2, and then we have another c over 2. Okay, since we have two of them, well, that's going to equal 2c over 2. And then 2 divided by 2, well, that's just 1. So you'd have 1c or just c. And that's, that's why we can just cancel out the 2s when we multiply c over 2 times 2. Okay, back to this problem, c equals 26. So we use the multiplication property of equality to solve this one. Now, I mentioned before, sometimes you use a combination of the two. And this can be seen when you have a fraction. Let's say you have 2 equals 1, well, let's say 2 thirds C. Okay, 2 equals 2 thirds C. Now, we can multiply this side by a 3 and then divide it by a 2 so we can actually multiply each side by 3 over 2 multiply by 3 over 2 and if if you remember the rule with when you multiply two reciprocals it always equals 1 that's what we're doing here and so 2 thirds times 3 halves well the 2's cancel out and the threes cancel out. So you're just left with a C on that side. And then on this other side, you have two times three over two, which the twos are gonna cancel out and you're just left with three. So C equals three. So for this problem, and if you didn't quite follow that, that's okay. Um, we're actually using both properties at the same time. We're using the multiplication property of equality and the division property of equality because we're multiplying by 3 but also dividing by 2 at the same time and that'll get rid of the reciprocal of that fraction and reciprocals if you remember like the reciprocal of 1 half would be 2 over 1 and if you multiply reciprocals together you always get 1 so that's how this this one works 
okay, you should have a pretty good understanding of solving multiplication and division equations. Um, it may take a little bit of practice, but I hope you kind of have an, have an idea of, of where you're going here.